so you might have other systems as well along with the IDIS system we are going to be using the standard IDIS system for this uh, training so you highlight the system that you want to log in and press the login button it takes you to a screen wherein you need to enter your predefined user ID and password that's what I've done now and what you see is this menu which is the standard SAP menu in this menu what you also have is some favorites and favorites are typically used to store the most frequently used transactions so you need to log on to the web client UI I already have this favorite so what I'm going to do is delete this and recreate it so that you know exactly how to do it so highlight favorites right click add other objects what we are looking for is to add a BSP application and the BSP application is CRM underscore UI underscore frame and I will simply give it a description of web IC and the start page is default and I'm done Now when I double click on this, it will take me to the login page of the web client. So now you can see this is the main login screen for the web client. This is the web client URL. And it is possible to launch this URL straight away without going to the SAP GUI. I use the same user ID and password. Select the logon button. And as I mentioned before, this message comes up which basically says you could log in directly using this URL. I click on the URL and this is the main screen, the starting screen of the web IC. Now what you see on this screen are all different business roles. A business role is something that allows a user to see the functionality that the user is supposed to do. For example, a service user might have a service pro business role, which would allow him to create service orders, service tickets, service contracts, etc. A marketing professional might have a marketing pro role that would allow him to uh, create campaigns. Um, target groups and execute the campaign for example for most of this training we are going to be focused on the sales pro and the service pro roles so I select the sales pro role and click and what I see is the standard UI screen see the L shaped structure here so you have the navigation bar on the left hand side and you have the uh, typical personalization and the help buttons on the top. So let's have a look at some navigational settings that this offers. You go to personalize. and these are the various personalization settings so for example I choose personalized layout this is the standard layout that I currently have 
Uh, if I choose a different skin, say New Hope. Oh, the layout has changed. This can be set for every user. A user can choose the layout that he uh, prefers. So let's just go back to the default. Save. Now let's try to see how I can personalize the navigation itself. I go to this button, click, and this is what you see. So in the navigation bar, I have got appointments, interaction log, tasks, and various other uh, elements. And I could choose to, if I, for example, don't lead, don't deal with leads, I can just take the leads bit out. But I want to see my emails in my inbox, so I'll get the emails in, and I save it. And that's how I customize this navigation bar. So under the create segment of the navigation bar, I now have let us look at a few other navigational links so account management here in you can create delete or modify accounts accounts are basically your customers or contacts if it, for example your customer is a company then you will be dealing with the contact persons from that account and you have something called account hierarchies which basically means putting large customers who have several branches for example into a kind of hierarchy so the top might be the international head office followed by the regional head office followed by the actual city sales office or something so let us look at accounts This screen allows you to search for an account based on various parameters like created by, training, name, role, territory, etc. Some of the parameters are already visible here. So let us try to search for Megastore. Megastore is one of the customers in the IDIS system but I do not have the exact name so I'm going to use a wildcard entry star I type in star megastore hit the search button and I get a list of 66 accounts so there are quite a few megastores here their phone address city region etc now if I want to see some additional information about mega stores right on this screen without actually going into the individual customer I have further personalization settings here so I click on personalize and I get a range of options that allow me to see the available columns and the displayed columns so for example postal code here I do not wish to see the postal code I select postal code and remove it from the displayed column you can see it's still here that is because I have not saved it yet let me do that now once I save it the postal code has disappeared some other navigation links for example work list that shows me all the workflows for example if I need to approve a, a, a holiday for an employee or a purchase I get a workflow which I can see under the work list tab then I have the calendar tab which shows me if I have any activities Then I've got the reports, which I can go and look at any of the key reports that could either be uh, from BI or 
generated internally from CRM itself. So hopefully with this session now you have got an idea of how to log into the web client and the SAP GUI as well as to uh, personalize the various settings and to navigate in the CRM web client UI.